hello so this is a study that was done on uh, ivf patients and uh, here they categorize patients into two groups based on their ethnicity by ethnicity we mean the place of origin of a human being so they categorized the indian ethnicity group and the spanish ethnicity group so the, uh, there were 200 patients in each group approximately who went for an ivf cycle now the mean age of the indian group was around 31 years whereas the spanish women it was 37 years when they compared the ovarian reserve parameters that is the follicular count and the day 3 fsh they were quite similar in the two groups but when you looked at the mean age of these uh, groups the indian ethnicity group had a mean age of 31 years whereas the spanish women had an age group of 37 years the mean age so here when they monitored their ovarian response during an ivf stimulation cycle and the you looked at the number of eggs they got the quality of the oocytes number of embryos they produced they were quite comparable so what do you understand by this study that an indian ethnic group of 31 years was performing like a spanish ethnic group of 37 years mean age so this uh, shows us that the spanish women have a 6.3 years uh, age advantage over the indian women so why are indian women aging so fast so this requires a lot of research where we need to consider you know is it because of the genetic background or is it nutritionally induced so this uh, but this data and this evidence uh, is helps is going to help us clinicians a lot because the when we counsel fertility couples who are you know planning their ivf uh, treatment and when we need to discuss their outcomes today it is not just the age and the ovarian reserve but indian ethnicity itself could be one of the parameters to decrease your outcome and hence these indian women would need to monitor their ovarian response from an earlier stage to have a better outcome and uh, that's something that uh, we should do and one of the best tests today we have is the antral follicle count on ultrasound scan followed by your amh test through your blood hormone measurement